What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Wisco Motor Channel. My name is Chad and as you just saw, as is the schizophrenic nature of the weather in Wisconsin in March and April. And it's uh, snowing and windy, cold, but I'm uh, back in the shipyard. As you can see here, whoa. And uh, as you can see here, the halyards are whipping, it's snowing, um, but uh, we're gonna keep getting the boat ready to uh, launch here in a few weeks. So I haven't been up here in about four weeks and I've got a number of projects to do this weekend. This weekend is, uh, I'll be up here probably three or four days and it's uh, finishing up everything that's gotta be done before the boat goes in the water or comes outside. So the first order of business today will be resealing the windshield with new glazing from TaylorMade. Let's go inside. Well, I gotta get all the stuff out of my car first, but we'll go inside and uh, get that project started. All right, I've got everything out of the car and uh, ready to start the day. Uh, a little bit later start than, I'd, than, than I had planned on, but weather outside's kinda nasty, so it took a little while to uh, get over here this morning. But anyway, um, I wanted to share one quick thing that I thought was funny um, from the previous owner. He had this list of jobs to do, and I found this uh, over in that cabinet when I took that, that forward couch out to, to build the dinette. And there was a, there were several things in there, some games and um, a couple little tools, but in that cabinet or locker was this, this list. And it's eerily familiar to the list that I made prior to finding this. So <laughs> John and I were on the uh, same line of, of thinking through most of this stuff. So um, the stuff, I've just kind of used it as, as a, my own checklist now, and I've got a few of the things done. But today's project is going to be resealing the windows. Let's go up front and uh, take a look at the old molding, and you'll see why it needs to be replaced. It's uh, all original and um, has some of it's cracked away, broken away, and is pulling away from the frame. So I'll go up and show you what that looks like. I'm going to start with the aft window. It's the same molding. Uh, uh, it's actually called glazing and uh, I'll put the part number up on the screen here and uh, if I can find a link to it I will but uh, it's kind of hard to find it's from TaylorMade and it's I bought it through a company called Lipson Inc or Lipson Limited very helpful people the part number for the glazing is 8337920 so that's uh, that's what's on this boat I know from uh, the Catalina owners group on Facebook that it appears as though some Catalinas have different glazing, but that's what's on this one. So that's what I'm going to use to replace it. So let's go up top and I'll show you what the old stuff looks like. Okay. This is the stuff that we're talking about. This black stripping, weather stripping gasket glazing officially. Uh, you can see this corner is just completely missing and yeah, it's broken away. Same with this corner. Down here, it's pulling away. And same on this corner. This corner's missing, this corner's missing. This one's not too bad, but this stuff shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> I say that with some trepidation because <laughs> anytime I say that, Things don't usually go as planned, but it's just, uh, it, the, the problem is it's really, really stiff because it's original. I mean, it's like stiff enough that it's almost plastic. That one bends a little bit. So, see, it pulls out and the stuff up, up higher is gonna be more pliable um, than what's down here. So I'm going to start at the aft window though, because that is the uh, probably the easiest one to do. So we'll go to the back and get that one replaced, come back up front and start the bigger project. Okay, we're all set up back here. This one um, was really pulling away from the corners here. I actually earlier I pulled, pulled it off around the corners because yeah, it was split at the top here um, and then just pushed it back into the corners and now I've got this giant gap right here that's how much it it shrunk over the years so this one 
Let's get and pry this out with. So we just start that out of the channel. This old stuff pulls out pretty easily. I don't even know if this one's. I think it was sealed, but pulls off pretty easy. That's what the stuff looks like. Yeah, get this nasty cobweb off of here. But that's the uh, um, shape of the glazing. I'll toss this one overboard. Actually, I probably should go get the vacuum and just vacuum this all out, clean this up a little bit. Um, I've got my scraper. Looks like it may have had a thin layer of silicone. Um, but we'll, uh, but I'm going to, yeah, there's a little bit of silicone on this. I'm going to use some black silicone uh, before we put the, uh, the new glazing in place. So I'll go get the vacuum, clean all this up, and then uh, we'll start installing the new, the new piece of glazing. Got the track vacuumed out. I'm just gonna go around with a scraper and make sure we get all the old uh, dirt and stuff off the window. And there is a thin layer of clear silicone. I'm not getting into the black rubber or the black uh, gasket which looks to also to be silicone that actually seals the window to the frame tiny tip off of this and put a thin real real thin bead around it hundred feet of this stuff so right, well we'll just start by pushing it back up in there Around to the top here and we're just going to cut right in line with the beginning the starting point and we're going to put a little dab of rubber cement on the end here okay corners are all holding ends there slide that up in there get that in our track and there we go So that is resealing a window. And I'll probably just let this, <laughs> this mess here just kind of tack up a little bit and then I'll use the scraper to clean that up. That'll come off easy. Glass is uh, um, 
glass is easy to clean up, so. All right, well, I'm happy with the way the corners have laid down. And uh, this one looks good, so. Head up to the uh, front and start the big project for the day. That's gonna take some time. Back to the front windshield, and uh, I'm just gonna start with the middle here, because this one's already, already starting to pull out, so. Just uh, get the easy part done here. And you can see it gets stiff down towards the bottom there. That rubber is just hardened over the years. I gotta work on digging this bottom channel out. So that's gonna be a little bit harder. And then we'll clean it up just like we did the, the back window. Reseal it, put the new, new stuff in. Enjoy the music. So I've got the window all uh, masked off. Uh, so before I go siliconing uh, the channels, you gotta dig all this old stuff out. Um, it just it just isn't gonna fit quite correctly if you don't do this. So not difficult, just time consuming. You can see it makes a mess. So I'll keep digging around the channels and then we'll put a small little bit of silicone up in there. Oh, and by the way, what I'm using to pull the silicone out is just a series of picks that we can get up inside here. Get the chunks up there up underneath out of that channel. And uh, get it as clean as possible. Um, so this isn't that difficult. It's just very time consuming. I am to the end of today and I've got that those windows scraped these windows scraped that one is scraped and I'm halfway through this one and I've got the glazing taken off this, both of the side windows I haven't done any scraping on those yet so there isn't really any surprises here uh, other than I I didn't think the silicone would come out in tiny little chunks like this but I mean it is 30 what are we, 37, 38 years old now? So, the silicone was going bad. <laughs> um, I was hoping to be able to just kind of pull it all out in one string, but I'm having to use uh, picks, screwdriver, scraper. I mean, it's going well. I actually don't know if I'm gonna blue tape all the windows when I put the, uh, the new glazing on. We'll see, I'll do that one first and see how it turns out, but that will be tomorrow. So they're going to come kick me out of the building here in just a few minutes. So
I just finished the last window scrape out. Uh, so I'll turn the camera around here and show you what a mess it makes. Um, but during this whole process, you know, I've been working on this for a total of about probably 12 or 13 hours at this point. So it's given me some time to think about things and I come to appreciate a project like this and I have a few thoughts on it. So stay tuned to the end of this video for my thoughts on a, on a lengthy project like this. Um, just a few um, no, and nothing profound, but uh, just uh, some thoughts that crossed my mind about uh, um, working on a project like this and uh, kind of what you go through when you're working on it. So anyway, let me turn the uh, camera around and I'll show you what this this uh, last windshield looks like after you get done scraping it. And then uh, what I'm gonna do next. So when you scrape out all the old silicone, of course you get a, a bunch of dirt and grime and stuff that's been in there for years. So it just makes a mess. The silicone does not come out in one piece. It just flakes off and it just takes time to get all of it out of here. And I mean, it's, it's this kind of stuff. It's just gets everywhere and it makes a decent mess. So this windshield or this side window now is ready to be cleaned up. So I'll get the vacuum out and then do one final check around all of the windows. I've inspected all of them um, with a light just to be sure that I have the silicone out of the channels. Uh, but I, after I vacuum this window, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna vacuum all the windows one more time and then inspect all the channels again. And at that point, it'll be time to uh, start laying down some new, uh, new glazing. So I was thinking I could do this in a day. Um, it's gonna be two full days, maybe even a little bit into the third day. But uh, it's, I mean, it's not hard. It's just very, very time consuming, so. All right, well, the time has come to install the first piece. I've got it cut. We're gonna start at the top center section window here. And we'll put a little bead of black silicone in there. put the piece of glazing in. I've got the, by the way, I cleaned all, cleaned the window, Windex, ready to go. first one in I'm using the uh, soft side of the of a pair of pliers um, I got a little bit of I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not but there's a little bit of black silicone that ended up on the windshield but I'm not worried about that that'll scrape off easily that's all there is to it a little bead of silicone and then push it in so I've got nine, no, I've got eight windows to do. Uh, so there's six up here with four sides, so 24. 
two windows with three. So I got 30 pieces to do. No reason to film all this. I hope that's as easy to, as it is. I'll do one more, uh, but then uh, I'll just show you the final result. Rubber cement. Two of them installed. So I'll just keep going around and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, it is day four on the windshield project, the reseal. Um, I have one window left to do, and, I... and then we'll show you the finished results, which look amazing. Got the piece cut for the uh, front of the of the side window. This is the last piece, so we're going to put in a bead of silicone, and then we'll put the rubber channel in place. And then we just go around and uh, clean out the squeeze out and uh, that's it I'll show you the finished result of all the windows here in just a second but it turned out really really good all right the windshield is completely done I just noticed that I've got some still have a little bit of window tint on the inside that I need to scrape off but otherwise on the outside here the new gasket, the new uh, glazing, as it's called, is installed on all of the windows and looks so much better. So, so much better than it did before. That window's done. Hard to see, but that's as far as I can go. Walking on the deck up here, so. Yeah, just looks fantastic. All right, so this job took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, not really sure why I thought I could do this in a day, but that was just silly thinking. Um, as I've said before, this is not a hard job. It just took a lot of time. So um, three and a half days is what it took to do this, so. This job is definitely not for the faint of heart. As far as time goes, it's, it's not difficult. It just takes time, but it will save you a ton of money. Uh, my quote for this job was over $2,000. So <laughs> uh, when I saw that, I'm like, nah, I'll just go ahead and spend the $300 on the, on the glazing, which I thought was crazy, but that's what it costs. So. 300 bucks for the glazing, and then uh, three and a half days of work, mostly scraping out the old silicone from, from the channels. Once you get that cleared out, it all goes in fairly quick. So I mentioned earlier that there were a few thoughts that I had on a long project like this. And um, one of those is obviously satisfaction. In the end, persevering through the the times when it's like this is just taking too long I don't like doing this 
Um, but finishing it up, making it look as good as it looks, um, is very satisfying. So I'm super, super happy with, with that. One other thing that, <laughs> that, that I kind of like about jobs like this, projects like this, is the fact that my job requires a decent level of critical thinking. And to do that every single day um, for as a profession in the aerospace industry, to come here and spend three days essentially doing 90% of this, this job is mindless work. You know, pulling out the old, the old uh, glazing, scraping silicone, mindless work. It's a nice break from, <laughs> from the work that my brain gets uh, in my regular, regular job, you know, the Monday through Friday thing. So it's a good break. Um, the other thing coming out of the end of this just gives you more confidence that, you know, on a boat like this, a boat this size, there are a lot of things that can be intimidating. And to tackle a project like this that takes this long and, and to have it come out looking as good as it looks is very, um, uh, there, there's a confidence boost um, that, that goes with that. So those are some of the things that I was thinking about while, uh, while working on this project during those mindless hours of scraping away silicone. So um, yeah, hope that provides some insight for you. If you're looking to do uh, a, a bigger project on your boat, that's just going to take a lot of time. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater channel. Happy boating, everybody.